Praise the Lord. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Eucharistic celebration on the memorial of St. Andrew Dunlap, priest and companions. Today, the Church honors a group of 117 martyrs of Vietnam. They gave their lives during several persecutions throughout the 18th and 19th centuries. Despite the extreme tortures they had to endure, they heroically witnessed to the faith. Ninety-six of these saints, including the priest Andrew Dunlap, were native Vietnamese, and the others were European missionaries. Let us pray for Divine Retreat Center. Heavenly Father, let your eyes be open night and day upon the Divine Retreat Center. May your holy presence fill this house of prayer. In this your temple, may the rejected feel accepted, the depressed find hope, the wounded find healing. Protect your home from all afflictions and let your Holy Spirit rest upon it. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Entrance Antiphon May we never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the word of the cross is the power of God to us who have been saved. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate the memorial of St. Andrew Danglach, and we remember all the Christians who are undergoing persecutions in their life from different parts of the world. It is sure God's children are undergoing struggles and trials and even tribulations of their personal life on account of their faith in Christ. Thank God that we are free to exercise our faith in the place where we are. All those who are freely exercising their faith in Christ without much obstacles and burdens. Today is the day. Just thank God. Whenever you want to go, you can go to church. Whenever you want to pray, you can pray. But keep in mind, hundreds of God's children are not able to practice their faith. And hundreds of God's children are undergoing struggles and trials on account of their faith in Christ. It's our duty, more than a duty, it's our privilege to pray and support our own brothers and sisters who are undergoing persecutions in the world. Brethren, let us acknowledge our failures. So prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery in a worthy manner. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. 
Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, source and origin of all fatherhood, who kept the martyr Saint Andrew Dunglatch and his companions faithful to cross of your son, even to shedding of their blood, grant through their intercession that spreading your love among our brothers and sisters, we might be your children both in names and truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Be seated for readings. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. In my vision, I... John saw a white cloud, and sitting on it, one like a son of man, with a gold crown on his head, and a sharp sickle in his hand. Then another angel came out of the sanctuary, and shouted aloud to the one sitting on the cloud, Put your sickle in, and reap. Harvest time has come, and the harvest of the earth is ripe. Then the one sitting on the cloud set his sickle to work on, her, on the earth, and the earth's harvest was reaped. Another angel, who also carried a sharp sickle, came out of the temple in heaven, and the angel in charge of the fire left the altar and shouted aloud to the one with a sharp sickle, Put your sickle in and cut all the bunches of the wine of the earth. All its grapes are ripe. So the angel set his sickle to work on the earth and, the harv and harvested the whole vintage of the earth and put it into a huge wine press, the wine press of God's anger. The word of the Lord. Lord. Our response, the Lord comes to judge the earth. Proclaim to the nations God is king, the world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the seas and all within it thunder praise. Our response, the Lord comes to judge the earth. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy. At the presence of the Lord, for he comes, he comes to rule the earth. With justice he will rule the world, he will judge the peoples with his truth. A response, the Lord comes to judge the earth. We stand for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Be faithful until death, says the Lord, and I will give you the crown of life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When some were talking about the temple, remarking how it was adorned with fine stone work and votive offerings, Jesus said, All these things you are staring at now, the time will come when not a single stone will be left on another. Everything will be destroyed. And they put to him this question, Master, they said, when will this happen? Then and what sign will there be that this is about to take place? Take care not to be deceived, he said, because many will come using my name and saying, I am he, and the time is near at hand. Refuse to join them. 
when you hear of wars and revolutions do not be frightened for this is something that must happen but the end is not so soon then he said to them nations will fight against a nation the kingdom against the kingdom there will be great earthquakes and plagues and famines here and there there will be fearful sights and great signs from heaven the gospel of the lord dear loving children of god some people were talking about a temple and jesus was giving them the answer don't uh, much surprised or don't take for granted when you see huge or a huge church or maybe a big uh, in size the temporal uh, elements of the church or the outward appearance of the church so sometimes you see such an amazing big traditional church so we have seen i think hundreds of churches in different parts of the world some some churches are really big in size it's a huge one so the important things that jesus is trying to uh, remind us here today where there is presence of god there is really the temple of god it's not only about the size of the church it's not only about the look or the external appearance of the church but the most important factor that makes something temple that is the presence of god and he says presence of god is within you in and around you among you so brothers and sisters keep in mind that if we are not able to go to church church is only four walls a big huge in size a big structure that can hold the people but that's not everything the church it becomes real church where there is the presence of god that's why we keep the blessed sacrament there in the tabernacle where we go and worship and that blessed sacrament that the body of christ when we receive that christ is here within us so where you experience the presence of god that is the church for you personally and also we can take something so spiritual or as one of the spiritual interpretations about the prophecies that jesus said there are people already in the present world they were trying to answer when they see around pandemic like covid 19 or maybe when the nations fight against another nations some people already started to say this is going to be end of the world and this is going to uh, going to finish everything and the end is coming soon so exactly no one is able to answer such questions or such prophecies but one thing is for sure this is said in the gospel said by jesus so this is going to happen but we do not know the time we do not know the hour but jesus also reminds us today don't join with the people who share about this this is the end of the world this is coming to end everything so prepare whatever whatever those stuff don't get panic don't just get stumbled by the wrong teachings jesus said you are not supposed to join with them because jesus clearly says there will be fearful sights and great signs from heaven only the heaven can reveal to us the exact hour and the time so it is not with any human being on earth to interpret when they see some unusual things that happens or occur in the world god himself knows about this maybe one of the spiritual interpretations brothers and sisters think about our personal life there are earthquakes there are pandemic there are famines in our personal life there are famines in our personal life spiritually if we look into life there are earthquakes that happens maybe every day in our life connected with our life situations so try 
what God speaks to us today, temple of God, that means wherever there is the presence of God, I can be the temple and I am the temple of God. When I am with the people around, where we could experience the presence of God, that there is the temple of God. And also about the uh, prophecies, it is Jesus said, and that is going to come for sure. But no one is able to explain this. People can just do their guess work, but that may not be right. Important thing to understand, every single child of God is undergoing lot of personal earthquakes in life, lot of famines in personal life, and lot of um, plagues, uh, different types of pandemics in personal life for months and years. We need to find our own vaccine. That is the love of God. Nothing else. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine, the work of human hands, it will become a spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. With a humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Holy Father, the offering we bring as we venerate the passion of the holy martyrs so, <coughs> so that amid the trials of this life, we may always be found faithful and may offer ourselves to you as an acceptable sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and every word to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Saint Andrew, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in your weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear your witness through Christ our Lord. And so with all the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that you partaking of the body and the blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Have mercy on all your children struggling on account of their faith in Christ. Have mercy on all those who are undergoing persecutions in life. We pray with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her devoted spouse, Blessed Apostles and all the saints, Saint Andrew, Saint Vincent de Paul, Saint Mary Maculate, and all those who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Those who are not able to go to church today physically, this is your time of spiritual communion. You can join along with me when I recite this prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May the body and the blood of Christ keep us to have eternal life. Amen. Communion and effect. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven.
Let us pray. Renewed by this one bread, as we commemorate the holy matches, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that abiding as one in your love, we might merit by endurance and eternal prize through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Glorify God by our lives. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer for praise. O Eternal, O Jesus, Eternal Priest, keep all your priests with the shelter of your sacred heart, where none may harm them. Keep unsaved their anointed hands, which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unsullied their lips, purple with your precious blood. Keep pure and unearthly in their hearts, sealed with the sublime marks of your glorious priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's condition. Bless their labors with abundant fruits. And may the souls to whom they have ministered to be their joy and consolation, and in heaven their beautiful and everlasting crown. O Mary, Queen of the clergy, pray for us and obtain for us many holy priests. Amen. Amen.